In today's video, guys, I'm playing another LTA graded tournament and I'm gonna film it, I'm gonna show you the matches and hopefully this time I get the win. That's my partner right there. Is he ready? Three match bill. Uh, bagels, honey and bananas. Oh. After picking up Jake, it was time to head to the tournament. It was held at the new Rocket Paddle Centre in Ilford, which is now one of the nicest clubs in the UK. Jake today will be playing on the left and I'm going to be playing on the right. Hey mate, how you doing? Nice you to see you. Uh, yeah, tournament. little tournament vlog today. Ooh, yeah, hello nice <laughs> mate. Yeah, there is a lot of pressure when I do actually, but I can always just edit out my mistakes, so it's, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Hi mate, I've how seen you your doing? videos. How you doing? Nice to meet you. By the way. Thank you, thank I've you. Seen your videos as well. Yours are a lot better in uh, the cinematography. I, that's what yeah, I need help what work we on. Like. When I first started playing paddle, hey, I was Tom, like, you know I mean? watching your videos in the paddle school, like every. Oh, quality. Like, what size piece would it be? Uh, a large, quality. Oh, hello. You're right. Lovely. Oh, thanks so much. Cheers. So, what's what's this? So it's a vitamin enriched. Uh, soft drink, so it's got loads of vitamins and minerals in. So very yeah, good for you, yeah? Yeah, like a functional drink. Quality. I'll, I'll drink it before my first game and if I lose, I'll be coming back <laughs> to you, yeah? <laughs> and after all the small talk was over, it was time for me and Jake's first match of the tournament against two guys called Charles and Robert. And from my experience, I found that even in these first round games, you should still put loads of effort and intensity in. Even if you think you're going to win, just so you can get in that mode and that will help you out for more of those future more intense matches. And these guys we were playing were good, but Charles in particular hit the ball so hard. I'm only showing a few clips, but every ground stroke he would either smash the ball as hard as he could, and it was strange. I just found that if you let it go past you, it would either go long or it would bounce up so much of the glass so much that it would come straight back to me in their position. They were really difficult players to read as well, as they would play quite unorthodox random shots that you were not expecting. So me and Jake won this match 6-3, 6-1, was quite comfortable. A lot of points would either be them missing or hitting a worldy shot. I'm filming now. We're in the second round. What do you think? Easy? Yeah, enjoyable. The guy's teeing balls from the back of the court. It was quite fun because it was, yeah. you work on your blocking, you work on stuff that's just, you don't ever get to work on. The more he was under pressure, the harder he hit it as well. And then when yeah. he had the easiest ball, that I did, like, I did like, like a rubbish return easy and he like taps <laughs> it. Now, time for the semi-final. Me and Jake did play a second round game, but unfortunately I was not allowed to film it. But we won that one 6-4, 6 love, and it was quite similar to the first game, so you're not missing much, don't worry. The semi-final was against two guys called Julio and Sergey, and this was a big, big step up in the levels. These two were great paddle players. Sergey had a big smash, Julio was really consistent, both great at the net position and the volley battles, so me and Jake really had to up the levels if we wanted to get through to the final. could not control my lobs at the start of this game. I was mishitting or dropping them short and Sergei was taking advantage with his big smash. I was also struggling in the volley battles against them and overall, I just felt really tight and awkward throughout this match on the right side. I was quite disappointed with my performance as a whole in this game as when the pressure really went on, I was messing up that last ball in the longer rallies. This was putting my confidence down and made it even worse as I felt myself hesitating at times. So we went down in the first set. Luckily, me and Jake had a break to talk through some tactics, which you can listen to now. Like two things. You can come on, you can cover behind as well. Yeah, I've got the lobs. We, we let them play, like cut us, they're gonna beat us. They play fast, we don't yeah. like that. So, so when they play fast, they keep lobbing me as well, I just keep lobbing back. So the idea from those tactics was that I would close the net more because if the ball goes up for a lob, Jake can cover me with the overheads. And also, if they do manage to keep lobbing me, I will just keep lobbing back and not try and go for a winner or anything special. This tactic worked as it simplified our jobs and played to my strength in particular, which is the forehand volley and the vibra. We ended up taking the first set comfortably and felt confident going forward. 
However, Julio and Sergey fought back hard in the second set and I feel that mine and Jake's intensity dropped a lot. They completely destroyed us 6-1. We were both making stupid errors and Julio and Sergey just had this momentum going. I'd rate my own performance in this match as a whole a 5 out of 10. Just didn't do a lot and made too many mistakes. This meant we had to play a tiebreak to 10. And to be honest, even though we had just lost 6-1, I still felt pretty confident and I think Jake did too. I thought we could up the levels again and we won the first few points in the tiebreak and then the momentum just fully shifted. Always fine when you win those first couple points in a tiebreak, you can just run away with it. Jake's smash was at his strongest in this tiebreak as well and he won a few points from it. I started playing with more confidence as well. It was really strange. As soon as it hit the tiebreak, we just felt we had it. And then we won the match 10-2 on tie break. I think Sergey and Julio got a little bit tired. They just played a super intense match before us as well. And we were in the final. After three wins, it was time for the final. In the final, we went straight in. No warm up as we had just finished playing our semi and so had Aston and Josh who were our opponents. These guys are super strong players and me and Jake know them well as they're also both from Essex and we've played with them before. The strategies we used in this final against Josh and Aston were one, that Jake takes 70 to 80% of the overheads. He has so much angle to play into and obviously the big smash. So when the ball went up, a lot of the time I just stepped out of the way and let him take it. Also, like I mentioned earlier, that allowed me to to close the net more, meaning if they played a weak or slow volley, I could step in and pop it out or play an aggressive shot. The other tactic that we used were to avoid volley battles at all costs. Both in the semi-final and the final, our opponents had really good hands and were eager to push the net position. So even when we were at the net, they played a lot of Chiquitas. We avoided this by getting good length on the volley, playing volleys and Bandek with more angle, and if they pushed in close, I would just lob them. I think overall, especially watching it back now, I didn't love being on the right hand side. I did just feel at times quite awkward and a little bit tight. And I think I was so focused on just not making mistakes that I felt I couldn't really play my sort of game. But watching it back, especially in this final, I definitely play a lot stronger. Like I barely miss a shot. I just get everything in. I kind of just do my job. And that's where I've got to kind of take the wins from that. But in the semi-final, it took some adjusting because I was trying to go for too much in the semi-final and I wasn't being as consistent. A big theme of this final was the smash or kick smash. Aston and Jake are both tall guys and both have huge smashes. A lot of the points they would either bring the ball over using the flat smash or hit it out by three with a kick smash. So my job was just to try and set up the point for Jake to smash by playing low volleys with spin and forcing a weak lob. The courts were quick, we had brand new Adidas balls and Jake and Aston were playing incredible smashes. Almost every point was getting finished off with a big kick smash from both of them. It was an amazing battle to watch. Even I managed to get involved with the smashes. I don't play it a lot and especially on the right and it kind of goes out of shot. But as soon as it went up, I thought I might as well go for one. So me and Jake comfortably won that first set 6-1. I actually think not doing a warm up and just going straight in helped us a lot. We just finished our strong tie break from the semi-finals and felt really good. The second set, however, which we're watching right now, was a lot tighter with both of us holding serve. The rallies were getting a lot longer and there were fewer mistakes occurring. You could also feel everyone pushing the ball a little bit more, playing more lobs, not going for it on the overheads as much. However, I felt really confident that if a ball came to my forehand volley, I would be able to kill it.
This point here was crucial. It was golden point at 4-4, and me and Jake knew that if we broke, we would then be serving for the match. And just as the ball came up to Jake, I said to him, go on, as I was desperate for him to go and win it with the smash. Aston got there, and we managed to get it. And then Jake said after me that he felt so much pressure, as every other smash he had hit was perfect, and he did not want to mess this one up. So at 5-4 up, it was my serve and a chance for me and Jake to win the match. We had some more long battles and rallies and it was just a game of patience and hoping for an opportunity to win the point. The final point, Jake nearly wins it in style with a backhand pop out. He told me it's gutted as it didn't go out, but it doesn't matter as we managed to get the win. 6-1, 6-4, a really close game, particularly in that second set. The rallies were so much longer and it was just a game of patience, setting up that point and obviously Jake carrying it with that big smash. So that was it, me and Jake got our trophy and actually won a racket as well, which will be going straight on my website, everythingpaddle.co.uk. Make sure to check that out and also make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.